that is the hut for the local football team. The K I K, <coughs> K excuse me. They advanced to the third division now. And then we turn turn south. And I have unfortunately sun. Now you see this is called Eskilsö, this island, and then it ends and the next one is Sailgrund, that seal island, or some says well, what the, the first inhabitants must have been seals, and they're coming back now, the fishermen are angry because the seals eat up, and there you see the outer harbour, at the moment no ships. And then we turn, 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 and then we do a little here, like that. And uh, there's uh, people living in those huts. And oh, no, no, they're, they're beautiful buildings, naturally. And then uh, I hear some warehouses. That's a warehouse. And it's the inner harbor. All the ships go there, out there to the outer harbor. And then a little to the left again. We have the Blood's House. As I've written earlier. That is where the, the ship owner, Johan Peter Blad, who founded this city in 1785. With the help of the Swedish king naturally. Gust, I think it was Gustav III who was later shot at the dance and then that and it's been renovated so now it's a tourist info and and they have uh, let's say the music upstairs with a big piano and things like that. When I was young, it was a school. I went there for three years, and up there was a church. And here we continue along the beach. That building over there is the Svenska Gården, the Swedish Swedish house where they, they have coffee and, and, and meetings and things like that there. You can rent it for, I think, 100 euros or so. And the other one, that's where people live. And here we go further on, further on. And that, there, over there. I a friend of mine lives there, and then that's a friend too, oh, I know them all. And that's up there on the hill is the Finnish school. But then here, is a, it's a man from Narpes who has built himself a, girl, a real palace. Here and down we go to the beach, and there we have the safety and rescue ship. Lies there, stand by. So if there comes any alarm out, so that somebody's in emergency at sea, the boys jump in and drive as fast as they can to help people in sea who are in sea sea problems. You know, they, when it, there's a hard wind outside these islands, the, the waves are pretty high. I don't know how many times they've been this year out, but it's there. And up there we have the the former dry... No, 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 no. We had to go a little mum. Yes. There's a good-looking house here. That's a big, that's what drugstore owner used to have it, but now it's, there's a couple living there. And then further on, further on, I hope, I hope I'm not going too fast. And there should be the ferry over to, but now the ferry is on this side. You hear the sound a little. And there's the center of the marketplace over there.
I'll take a little slow so you see. Uh, that's a good look. I think they 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 fetched that that SAR boat from England. It's an English built, pretty good looking boat or ship. And that's the former Finnish school, so the Finnish speaking pupils were up there when I was young. You know, there were lots of children then, but there's no, not so many children anymore. In my class, I think there were 30 or so. Ooh, my hands start to be cold. And that's the beautiful blood Skahuset. And there is uh, straight out and to the right and you you have direction Sweden. Aha, uh -huh, there's one ship that's been loading over there. You see the the ship loads. Well, you get lots of those in Petersburg. There's a little harbor about one kilometer or so of key. Yes, that was the introduction. Thanks for me. Bye.